Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you once again, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, we are here with a first look at a game called Train Valley World that is currently available as a demo on Steam. Uh, the release date for this right now just says 2024. So I don't know when in 2024 it's going to be, but it should some be sometime this year. Uh, I am a huge fan of train games, always have been. So when I saw this one out there, I said I definitely have to give this one a look, and I wanted to give one, give it a look with you as well. So let's hop right in here and see what we have to see. So when we hop in here to Train Valley World, it gives us this little tutorial, and we see that up here in the upper right. So the way that this game works is that you basically, there it's a bunch of mission-based, uh, it's basically a bunch of missions. So, and you can basically get up to three stars on every mission. One based on the amount of time that it takes you to complete the mission. One based off of uh, another objective, which in this case is buy three or more locomotives. And then another one, which is in this case, get earning 25,000 or more coins. So for each of those objectives that you complete, you will get a star. And then you'll, even if you don't get all the stars, you'll, you'll still complete the mission no matter what. It's just whether or not you want to complete it as zero, one, two or three stars, basically. So we're going to hop right in here and it's going to tell us what we need to do in order to actually get some trains up and running. So if we kind of take a look here, we got this town here called Middletown that looks like it wants lumber. And then we have a lumber mill up here. So actually, let me hit continue. So now it's going to tell us how we can uh, use the camera controls so we can zoom. And then we can also move the camera by holding down the middle mouse button. And then we can swirl around. And then now it's going to have us go into platform building mode. So we have the pointy finger over here in the upper left. And now it wants us to build a platform next to Middletown. And we can do that just by clicking there. And then one next to the logging camp by clicking there. All right. So now from here, we can go into track building mode. And to build track, all we have to do is click the track building mode button there. And then we'll click on the track here. And we will click on it here. And then you can click again to finish. And then we are going to turn off track building mode. And now we can open up the locomotive list to add a train, which we will do. So now the only train that we have available here is one that's called the Novelty. It costs $5,000 to get it. And it has a speed of 45 miles an hour. So we or maybe 45 kilometers an hour. I'm not quite sure, one or the other. And now we're going to have this train go from the logging camp to Middletown. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to hit confirm. And then we're going to close the train management window. And now here we go. We have our very first train that is on its way from the logging camp down to Middletown with two train with two cars full of uh, wood to make the people of Middletown happy. So this train will get here and it will drop off that wood. And for that, we will get 1,000 coins per car. And they they have a demand, so they will store up to five wood. And then once they have five wood, then they will not store any more. So now what we can do is we can upgrade our network. So now it wants us to deliver some wood to the sawmill and then to deliver some wooden planks to Middletown. So that's what we will do here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a platform. We're going to build it here next to the sawmill. And then we are going to then build some track and we're going to build it from the logging camp to the sawmill. Now you can click on the route to kind of like set a waypoint for your track and then keep building it from there. So that way it won't, oh, it won't build in a straight line if you don't want it to. You can build around obstacles. So we're going to build some track there and finish that. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to build some track here. And then we're going to have it go into Middletown just like that. We're going to click again to finish there. And now if we can build a couple more, we can get a couple more trains if we want. So that's exactly what we're going to do because one of the objectives we have is to buy three or more locomotives. So we might as well do that. We do have 13,000 coins. So in this case, these trains, we're going to have them both do the same thing. 
So we're going to have one train go from the logging camp, and then it's going to go down here to the lumber mill or the sawmill. Now, if you go here, this will tell you the actions that it can do. So you can have it unload. You can have it wait for a full unload. In, the, in that case, those are the only things that it can do because it's going to be unloading. Now, the next thing you have to do is you then have to tell it to load back up again. So you have to tell it to load up with wooden planks. And we also have to tell it that we want it to wait for a full load, because if you don't tell it to wait for a full load, the train will just take off as soon as it delivers the logs. And it takes a bit for the logs to actually turn into planks. And then from there, we can have the train pull into Middletown and wait for a full unload. So we're going to do that. We're going to confirm that. And now that train is running up there. <clears throat> and now we can do the same and get a third train. So we'll have another train go and basically do the exact same thing. So we're going to have this train go from the logging camp. It's going to go down to the sawmill and unload. It's going to wait for a full load at the sawmill. And then it's going to take it to Middletown. And we will confirm that. And now these trains will go. Now, the nice thing is in this game, if you have two trains that are on the same track at the same time, one will basically ghost through the other. So unlike other train games like Railway Empire 2 or any of the old Railroad Tycoon games, you don't necessarily have to build separate sets of track and, and have to concern yourself with that. It will just, you can have one set of track and if you have two trains that are getting ready to basically meet in the same spot like just happened there, one train will basically phase out while the other one is moving. And then they'll both continue on their way. So now at this point, we're just basically waiting for six wooden planks to be delivered to Middletown. And when that happens, we will complete the level. Now up here in the upper right, we do have this opportunity to speed up game time by a multiplier of two or a multiplier of four. And in this case, that's what we're going to do because there's nothing else that we need to do at this point other than wait for all of the planks to be delivered to Middletown, which we're just about to do. And in this case, that will be completed. We will get our three stars. And we have completed the challenge for the tutorial. So we completed the level in less than 11 minutes. We bought three or more locomotives and we did earn 25,000 or more coins. So now if we wanted to, we could restart this or we could finish it and we're gonna finish it. And then we're going to go to the other scenario that they currently have available in the demo, which is called the submarine. So now here, all the gloves are off <laughs> and the, well, all the training wheels are off. And now it is basically up to us to do the three objectives that are in the in the town and try and complete it in less than an hour and five and we wanted to deliver 110 110 or more iron ingots and complete two or more city requests so the city requests are the things that are listed here with a star on them and then the um the town objectives or the three objectives that we have are basically all down here in this town. So they want 30 iron ingots, they want 30 pieces of glass, and they want 30 brass pipes. So now at this point, we just need to figure out how to do all that and get them everything that they need and do it in an hour and five. And we have a limit of 10 trains that we can use to make this happen. So what is, so we can only use up to 10 trains to do everything that we need to do. So in this case, the first thing that we need to do is we need to try and figure out what, how we're going to go about starting to do some of these things to satisfy them. So in order to get iron ingots going, we are then going to need basically this area produces iron ingots and it does show you where the iron ingots can then be used. So in this case, iron ingots can be sent to all of the, basically all of the towns. So it, wherever you see the lines going outward, that's where the iron ingots can be sent. So we can have some iron ingots go up here to Birkenhead. We can have some iron ingots go down here to Lille Fado. 
And it also shows you, because you can see all these areas here, these are currently locked. So you can't currently do anything in these areas. Like if we were gonna try and build a platform here, we currently can't because we don't have the property rights to do so. So I'm gonna actually pause time here. So in order to get the property rights, you then have to buy those property rights. So if we shut that off, you then would have to buy the development rights, which is going to cost you money in order to do it. In this case, we only have 75,000 coins. So we would have to get spend 10,000 coins just to be able to get ourselves into this area. And they kind of have the borders of those areas right around there. So that is one thing that we're gonna have to keep in mind in order to actually complete all of our goals. So the one that I think we can probably start on is, well, we can't start on this because it takes 80,000 coins in order to get this, but this is gonna be what we need to get our iron ingots. So the one that we do have is we do have this area up here where we can start making some money. So we're gonna work on this and we're gonna set up some platforms here. So we're gonna set up a platform on this side and we'll set up a platform on this side and then we'll set up a platform here. So now what we can do is we can here, we can take wheat and we can take the wheat here to the cattle ranch and that will turn the wheat into cows. And then we can take the cows and we can send them off to Birkenhead. So in that case, now that we have our platform set up, we can then set up some trains and it looks like the trains can go through here. I think you can go around them as well. And I don't know if it's any it looks like it is actually cheaper to go around. So we're going to go around here, build the track into there and confirm that one. And then we're going to go here, build track over into Birkenhead and confirm that. Now we got to be careful because again, we only have 30,000 coins. And so we are going to add one train. And given the fact that we are limited in the number of trains that we can have, I'm going to go with the five car train because we're not going to have the ability to have too many trains out here. So we're going to take this train and we're going to have this train go from the, um, it's going to go from the wheat farm and we're going to wait for a full load here. And then we're going to send it to the cattle ranch and we're going to wait for a full unload. And then we are going to have it load when it's full again, and then take the cows to Birkenhead. So we're going to get that one started. We're going to confirm that. So that's going to load up with uh, wheat. It's going to send the wheat down to uh, down to the cow ranch. And then once it's done at the cow ranch, then it will fill up with cows and it will take the cows to Birkenhead. Now we also have these things here called specialists that are available. So you have four specialists that you can use in the scenario. One being the steward, which would improve a train's passenger transfer income by 50%. One which adds a bonus car to a train. One which upgrades a train speed by 30%. And then another one which prevents a train from slowing down when loaded with cargo. So right now I don't think that we need that with this. So we'll, we'll leave that one as it is, but um, later on that might become important to, to have that as an option. So right now we're going to just kind of speed up time and see how long it takes to get those cows onto the train. And at this point, there's not much else that we can do from a money standpoint. So that train is gonna go there and it's going to unload the cows. So that made us uh, $10,000. And now that one will continue its process. So now the next thing that we can do, theoretically, is we can run a line here. Oh, because these guys do demand cows as well. So we're going to do a line here that will... So we bought the development rights here. And now we can deliver passengers and cows to this area here. So we will now have to wait until we have some more money again. So we're going to let time move forward here. That may have not been the smartest build that I had as a first build, but that's okay. At least at least now we know what we're doing and uh, we'll we'll just let this keep rolling and wait for that one, wait for that train to get back to Birkenhead. So they want a total of 30 cows. 
And then what our next goal is going to be is we're going to basically build a platform here and then we will have a train go from Birkenhead down here to Crusoe with some passengers and that will also give us a little bit more money. All right, so that train is moving. So now it's making us a little more money. So now we're going to build a platform and put it here. And then we are going to have to have some money to build some track eventually. So we are going to uh, close the platform building mode and we're going to fast forward time here. So if we're going to build some track, let's see how much it's going to cost to build track from Birkenhead to Crusoe. Now we can use some of the track that we have. So let's go here to the track. And if we go this way, we're going to come up just a little bit short. So we're going to need 11,000 coins. So we're going to have to wait for one more load of cows to be delivered in order for us to be able to build that track. So we're going to speed up game time once again. Oh, that actually gives the money. That's right, because whenever we deliver the, uh, the wheat, it does actually give us money for that. So now we can build our track. And again, I'm not expecting this to be a three-star success. I would be very, very shocked if it was. So this is just kind of giving us an idea of of how we can possibly do things but i do love training games like this where you can build networks and you have to try and figure out the puzzle of what's going to be the most efficient way to do things and of course in rusty champagne land we're not that concerned with efficiency uh <laughs> we try but it doesn't always work out so all right we're going to fast forward time once again because we do need to get some more cash and the way that we're going to do that is to get some of these cows going here into Birkenhead once again, because right now that's our only source of money at the present time. All right, so cows have once again been delivered. So now we can theoretically down here, this will hold six passengers and this will also hold six passengers. So we can build a couple of trains. So we're going to go down here, add a train, and we're going to, once we have 15,000 coins, we're going to get one of these three, uh, three car trains. So we will let this time run. And again, we're already 15 minutes in. We're, we're not going to do this in an hour five. It's not going to happen. We'll, we'll see how good we can do. Um, all right. So now we have that. So now we can get a train here at the trench. And this will run from Birkenhead and load passengers and take the passengers down here to Crusoe and it will load them and take them back to Birkenhead. And then we can confirm that. So, and I think we can have it wait for a full load in both places. So I don't really have to wait for it to do a full unload. Okay, so wait for full load and unload. Okay, so now we have two sources of income, so that's good. That's at least giving us a little bit more so again, if these trains were to meet, then they would just, they one of them would stop and let the other one through. Now, I really do like, uh, while we're waiting here on the, these trains to move, I want to say I really do like the, uh, the, the nature of the graphics in this game. It's got kind of a cartoony feel, which is kind of fun. Um, it's got some nice background music. It's, it, it seems like it's a, a more simplistic graphic style, but I really like it. So that's, it's kind of a nice touch. And like I said, with it being a with it being a train game, you just you can't go wrong with that at all. So now it also looks like we can run a line here from Crusoe to Motala if we wanted, and we could also deliver some passengers. But these guys don't have passengers that they can. They don't have any passengers to take anywhere. They just have passengers that they will accept. So that does present a little bit of an issue there because we can drop off passengers, but we can't actually pick them up. So I mean, the passengers that are available right now are basically running between Crusoe and Birkenhead. But this is at least going to give us some more money. So we have 16,000 now. And then these cows, once they get in, that will give us another 10,000. And then we can start looking at other things that we can do. So in this case, this area demands copper ingots. And in order to get copper ingots, we need, this is our copper ingot factory, and it needs copper ore and coal, which are both available here. 
And in order to get that, this area also costs eighty thousand dollars in order, or eighty thousand coins in order to be able to uh, get it working. So while we're waiting on more coins, the other thing we can do theoretically is, well, it, I don't know if it would do any good to get a second train running between these areas. It possibly could, because I think that, that we'd probably be able to have the passengers, they probably regenerate fast enough that we could have a second line run between these and just give us more, more income. And if we get to the point where we need more trains, we can always take a train out of service. But right now, we might as well use the trains that we have available. So we're going to build another trench and have it go this time from here up to Birkenhead. And then from Birkenhead back down to Crusoe. And we're going to wait for a full load in both places. So that's going to just help give us more money. Because at this point, we really can use all the money that we can get. And I think that we'll be able to make that happen and have enough passengers at both, both stops so that it's not waiting for passengers in either area. So now we're back up to 28,000 coins. And apparently these are the, that's the number of industry points that we have. So I guess that completing these objectives might give us some industry points and what those industry points are used for. I'm not sure, but they would have some kind of a function, I would think. So now the other thing that we have is we do need to get some cows down here to Crusoe. So we are going to have to make that happen as well. So then we are going to have to have another train that runs basically down to Crusoe with some, with some cows. So if we go here and if we build a platform, now, the only place we can put a platform here is on Crusoe is here. So it looks like once you establish a platform, that's the only place you can actually put it. So in that case, we're not going to put up another platform here. So we're going to go to the track building mode and we're going to build some track out of out of the cow ranch and have it go this way. And anywhere where you see that it's red, it basically increases your building cost. So we're going to avoid building in the areas where the building cost would be higher. And we're just gonna build a route that runs that way. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to have another train now that's going to run from the, uh, from the wheat farm. So we're gonna get out of track building mode. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna get another train. Gonna get another big train and have it run from the wheat farm down here to the cow ranch and then have it run there to, oh, it didn't build my track. Um, all right, so I, oh, I didn't confirm the track build. That's what it was. Oops, <laughs> that's that's a typical Rusty Champagne thing right there. All right, so we're gonna put a waypoint there and then have it build into there. There we go, now we actually have the track. Now we can do what we were planning on doing which is to build a train that's going to run from the wheat field down to the cow ranch and then from the cow ranch down to Crusoe. And it will, whoop, I can't do that yet because we need to have it load up with the cows, wait for a full load, and then drop those off there. And then I think we then have to also build another section of track to then get the train back to the wheat farm so because otherwise the train's not going to be able to get to the wheat farm in its current with the track it's, it's currently configured so we're going to have to build one more section of track and i think we can do it uh no we can't do that so maybe if we go out a little bit uh no so we're gonna have to go out a little bit more there we go so now we can run track from Crusoe up to the wheat farm, which is what we need. So now the track is getting a bit congested and it would possibly be something where you might want to have more than one track. And if you had enough money, that might be a thing to do. But in the in the current configuration, we're just, we're using the track that we have basically, because that's, I think is going to be more efficient. Whether or not it's the way, you, whether or not that's the way you want to do it in the regular game, I, I really can't say. But that's what we're going to do here. And we'll see how it works out. 
So right now we're going to we're going to speed up time again because at this point there's not much else we can do other than wait for us to get up to eighty thousand again, so that way we can start uh, getting some of the prop get the development rights in one of these larger areas, namely one of these we'd like to get the the property rights here because this will start making iron ingots, which is one of the things that we really need to do. So we should have that money here pretty quick because the money looks like it's really starting to accumulate at a nice clip. So just a little bit longer, we should have our 80,000 coins. Looks like we're getting closer to being there. So just about 78 and that should put us at 80,000. Perfect. So now we should be able to go down here and we're going to open up this area, which will help us to start getting some iron ingots. All right, so now we have the development rights here, and now we're going to have to fast forward time again because now just because we we have those development rights, that doesn't really help us out all that much because we still need to be able to um, have the money to do anything. So we're going to wait for some more money to show up, and now we got some more money again, so that's good. So now we are going to build a train that goes from... We're going to have a train that goes from, uh, let's see, we have to build the platforms first. So we're going to build a platform here, and we're going to build a platform here, and we're going to build a platform here. So now we're going to just, we're going to have a train that's going to run from, now we're going to get some more money. So we might as well at this point go with the, the biggest trains that we can, because again, given the fact that we're limited to five train to 10 trains, we're going to have to make the most out of what we have available. So we're going to wait until we have, I guess I'm going to wait until we have 60,000 coins because what I'm going to do is we're going to have one train that runs from here to the, uh, to the iron, whatever we call this, the iron ingot producer, and then another one from the coal mine to the iron ingot producer. And then when we have those trains available, then that will start making iron ingots, which is one of the things that we need to start delivering. So now we're going to get two trains. One, oh, we got to build the track first. So no, we're not going to do that yet. So we do have to build the track. Um, we might as well build a track that runs through, um, through Rochefort, or however you pronounce it. So we will build another platform. We will build it here. And then we are going to close out of that, start building some track and have that track go here. And then we'll have it come out of here and go into there. And then we're going to build another set of track that goes from here into there. Okay, so now we need to wait once again for some money. So, and waiting in a game where you're, where you have a timer running against you, generally isn't the best idea but but again this is not going to be one where we're going to get all the stars and I'm, I'm not shooting for it right now it's just trying to solve the puzzle more than anything and actually just seeing the game in and of itself so so we should be getting closer to our sixty thousand coins that we need and it looks like we do also have the ability here to build industries so if we look down here we can build a new industry so we can build Oh, a glass factory, we can build a steel smelter, and we can build a brass pipe factory, but we can't do any of those. This is where these industry points come into play. So you can build one of these once you actually have industry points. So that's how we are going to get our glass factory and our brass pipe factory, because I don't think that we have those on the map anywhere. So now we are going to at this point, we're, oh, we do have the money. So we're now going to set up a couple of trains. Um, where, so what was, it, if we look at our trains, how do we go about that? So we, oh, we have this train that we haven't given any orders. So this train then is going to run from the uh, add orders. It's gonna run from the iron ore mine, load up there, and then it's going to do iron ingots and or it's going to unload there and that's all it's going to do at the same time we're then going to have another train that's going to deliver coal and drop it off at the steelworks as well 
And now this is where I'm going to probably have to start taking some other trains out of service because with having 10 trains available, now I'm not going to be able to have as many trains running. So I'm going to probably have to empty all these cars and redo this train because this one is not going to be able to uh, we're not going to be able to keep on running two trains between those areas at this point. And then once we actually have some of these other things done, I'll probably also have to take some other trains out of service. So like once we have this train done with the cows, I will probably stop running that train that's delivering the cows here. But now we can, once this train delivers, is that this train? It is. So once it delivers, we might as well let it make its delivery and get the money for it and then we will take it out of service okay so now we're going to uh we're going to have it exit its route and now it's going to go here so we're going to have it start at the ironworks um we're going to add orders so we're going to have it start at the ironworks or the steelworks wait for a full load and it's going to start taking some steel here to rochefort and we will have that be a train because that will give us 30 iron ingots and they want 30 iron ingots in order to complete their task, their objective. So yeah, we're just gonna be taking trains, putting them into service, taking them out of service. So that way we can continue <coughs> doing all of the different objectives that we need in order to make all of the other towns satisfied. So, once we, like I said before, once we actually have our 20 cows that are delivered here, we can take this train and repurpose it. And then uh, as we complete other objectives, we'll take trains out of service and put them into service in other places. So now the next thing that we can do, so we can get another train running. So we do need to run a train. What's the next thing that we can do at this point? we can run a train. So we have this, this area here in Motala. Oh, okay. So Motala, they want copper ingots. And we do have the 80,000 now to buy the development rights here. So we might as well start taking a look at this. So now we have the same thing here where we need, we need the, um, the copper ore to be delivered down here to the copper ingot factory then we have the coal that also needs to be delivered here and then we can have copper ingots that go to these two towns so we'll start setting that up now so we're going to build some platforms we're going to build a platform here and we'll build a platform here and we'll build one here and then we will build one here and eventually i'll build one in heart but right now I'm just just going to build those four and then we will start setting up some track to run and get the um this building running whatever the name of this building is we, we will get this building running and then we're going to try and set up some track down here as well and now now we're doing pretty good with money money doesn't seem like it's as big of an issue at this point so but i do want to wait until we have sixty thousand coins so that way we can once again get two large trains and run two large trains between the copper mine and the coal mine and then send it over here to what i'm assuming is a smelting factory so we will wait we'll speed up time again and wait until we have some more money and again not, no, we're not going to get the hour five <laughs> that, that won't happen but we'll 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 do what we can here so let's see uh if we look here at uh i was waiting to see because i'm surprised that we haven't actually delivered any ingots so if we look at our trains uh what is this train okay so that one's just waiting okay so that's uh oh so that's just taking wheat and huh did i not add orders for that one i don't know what that one's doing at this point um well i don't think that it's doing anything anymore because we completed that objective there so that one's just paused so i guess we can get rid of that and we can take that train and we'll have it go down here so we're going to add orders and this train is going to go 
So what was the other train that we set up? Do we have a train that's running? And we can click on the train. So that one is, oh, um, it can't find a route. So what do we need to do to get it to find a route, basically? So let's see. Oh, I, I think I didn't hit start. So let's try that. Maybe I didn't hit start. So we're going to try that again. Confirm and start. Is it because it can't? Oh, it, the train can't get there. That's what the issue is. It, it can't get to where it needs to be. Now I understand. So you can't, it, it won't just magically transport to the new place. So we do have to build basically a route that runs from Birkenhead. Okay, so we got to build some track. Now I understand. It's like, why is it not going there? But now I understand why. So now we got to navigate through these trees so that we don't eat any eat into any cost for going through the trees. Okay, so now I think we're good, and then we can go here. Now that train should be able to move. Okay, so now that train is moving. So the train that we had that was running there from Crusoe, now it can make its way over to the ironworks and then deliver from iron, uh, deliver iron from there to Rochefort, which is okay because we also need to send iron to Birkenhead as well. So that works in both cases. So now this train, that's the one I wanted to check. Oh, that's one that's actually going there. And then this train's going from the coal mine to the steel works. This one is doing the stuff for Crusoe, which we don't need to do anymore because they are actually now full on cows. So we don't need to do this anymore. So we can take this one off and we will basically have that one stop. And then we will build a set of track that runs between uh, Motala and Crusoe. So we're going to build some track here. And again, you, maybe you don't need to do this, but I'm, I'm taking it with an abundance of caution, given the fact that we don't have that many trains available to use, that it's going to be the best thing we can do is going to be to continuously, continuously repurpose these trains once we have objectives met. So that's that's kind of what my thought process is with doing this. Okay, so now we have trains that are built there. So now the thing I'm still trying to figure out is, have I built any trains down here at all? And it does not look like I have. I don't see any trains that are doing this. So this one says it cannot load and unload. Um, and the question is, is it because it's full? Oh, so we're just going to wait for a full unload. So I guess if it gets full, then it will not unload um, until because we had we already had enough stuff there. So let's see. So now I've got this train here that's paused. So we're going to set up this train, which was if we find that train. Where is that train? Um, I hit the find button, but it didn't really show me where it is. So. I don't know where you are. Am I just missing you? I think I'm just kind of missing you. All right. Well, one way or the other, we're going to have this train run from here. And we're going to have you run to Birkenhead because they need 20 iron ingots up there. So we're going to do that. And we're going to wait for a full load. And we're going to confirm that. And, oh, maybe it's already there. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. Okay. And then the one that we have here, this train that's going to Birkenhead, that's waiting for a full load. This train, oh, this one isn't waiting for a full load. So we really want that to wait for a full load because otherwise it's not really working the most productively that it can. So now back down to here. So as it turns out, I don't have any trains running here at all. So I do need a train that's going to run from the coal mine here and up to here and we're going to wait for a full unload we're going to wait for a full load even though i don't think that's going to be an issue so that's going to be the coal mine going to the copper smelter and then we're going to have i probably can have that train that train can probably do both things okay so i'm actually going to add order so i can have this train do both things so then it's gonna uh, or is that going to be too slow no, I'm just going to have it do that now. And if I need more trains, then I'll, I'll figure out how to do it. So we're, then we're going to have another train that's going to go from here. And it's going to run down here as well. And we're going to wait for a full unload, wait for a full load. 
So that's going to go from the copper ore mine to the copper smelter. And then now we need to, at this point, do we have trains that are not doing anything? Let's see. So this train doesn't have an, it doesn't have a route. So it doesn't, there's nothing that it's doing. So what can this train now do? Because it doesn't really need to be doing anything that it's doing. Um, because it doesn't seem like we're being hurt by not having any, any cows in certain places. Like it shows that we can use cows, but not having them doesn't seem like it's hurting anything as it is. So we can then, I guess, uh, let's see, we're going to empty all cars and we'll have this train, I guess we'll have it go here, pick up the copper ore here, wait for a full load and, um, Oh, wait, no, oh, we, we selected that train. Okay, so now this train here, we're gonna add orders to it. So it's gonna come here, wait for a full load, and then it's going to drop those off here because that will give us another one of our uh, objectives there. So we're gonna confirm that. It should now be able to do that from wherever it's going. Okay, so that seems like it's fine, perfect. So now what else do we have? So now we have this wheat train that's really not doing anything at all. I mean, it's delivering cows. It really doesn't need to do that anymore because we, I mean, that's that's providing money, but these trains can be used in much better areas now. So we're gonna actually turn this off so it now cannot find a route. So now we need to actually get some trains running down here to Liu Feido. So let's see, where can we get a platform going here? So where can we build a platform here? Oh, we need to open it up first, it looks like. So how much is it gonna to cost to open this up? Uh, let's see, if we close out of this, this is 80,000. We do have that, okay. So nice volcano. All right, so where can we build a platform here? Um, all right, we, so we can build it on any of the sides. So we'll build a platform there and then we are going to close that out. So now we do have some track that's available, it looks like. And now we can start building some track that will go into this platform that we have. So we're going to build some track that leaves here. Please tell me I didn't mess that up when I did that. I've got a feeling I did. Um, oh no, we're fine. Okay, so we're gonna go there and we're gonna build onto that. And then we're going to have this track run up this way and connect into this track. There we go. And now we can start sending some of the ingots down here to uh, Leo Fado once we have them available. So let's see. So this train that has nothing going on, we're going to empty all the cars and we're going to give you the order to go from here, the steel works down to Leo Fado once you're full. So we're going to wait for a full load and then unload, and that will take care of you. Okay, so that will help to get that one taken care of and get some of those all squared away. So now the next thing that we need, so we do have some sand down here, but then we need to be able to take that sand and turn it into, uh, what What does the sand turn into again? So if we look at the, if we look at the industries, so the glass, so the sand turns into glass and then the glass would go back here to Lille Fado. So then the question is, what's the best place to build that? I think it's here. So we can build the glass factory here and then send the glass back here as well. So we're gonna build the glass factory there. Not sure if that was the best idea, but we're, we're gonna go with it. I mean, we're, we're committed now. So we're going to build more track that's gonna run. Oh, we gotta build the platform first. So we're gonna build the platform and have it go here. And then it will get the track from here and we'll again avoid the red areas and build track that goes there. And then we need to build another platform 
up here. And then we'll complete this track over this direction. Okay, how are we doing on money? 35,000, so I better, better keep an eye on things. And then we're going to, after that, we're going to then build some track that's going to go this way and run into Leo Fado. There we go. So that one is going to take care of our glass. So we can do all that with one train. And then we'll then need to build a set of tracks that runs back into the um, into this building here. So we will have to build a little more track. So we'll build a little more that runs back into there. Okay, so now we got a complete circuit there that will take care of everything to get the glass in Leo Fado. Okay, so track is built, so now we can get another train going. This is the final train we have available. So now this train is going to basically, oh, uh, all right, so it's going to go from here. Oh, I don't know what happened there. So let's see. Uh, so that train is paused, add orders. So it's going to go from the sand quarry up to the glass works and then back to Lille Fado. Uh, or no, then it's going to load, wait for a full load, and then go to Lille Fado. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I think I am, but I don't know if I am. Okay, so that train is now going to be fully taking care of the glass that needs to happen there in Lille Fado. So let's kind of reassess things here. Again, we're we're 50 minutes in. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing what we can. Um, we really could at this point, I guess, use another ironworks because this is, uh, is the, what's the issue here? Do we just not have the ore? Did I use up my coal train? Uh, what is the thing here? Because we got plenty of iron, but we don't have any coal. So what did I do? That's the one in heart. This one is, um, all right, so this is at the coal mine. Did I not have it start? Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Or is it just waiting? Is it, I don't know what the issue is there. Oh, I see. It's stuck. Okay. So now, now I see what's happened here. Now I do actually have to build the second platform. Okay. So let's do that. So let's build the second platform. Um, now I can see where it becomes an issue because this, the iron, the, the copper train is stuck because the coal train is trying to deliver there and it can't. So that's what I did. So now I understand my dilemma. Okay, so now we're going to have to build some new track. And we will have it go like that. And now, so the question becomes, how do we get this other train unstuck? So let's see. Uh, this train is going to, let's see, it's just going to get moving, I think. So now it will move out of the way. All right, so now it's going to move. It's just going to go back with what it has. Once it clears out, then this train will be able to pull in and get its, uh, or will it not be able to move because it's also stuck from the other side. So what other train is there? Um, so I'm guessing there's another train there. Let's see, I'm, if I zoom in, yeah, so there's another train here. So what other train is here? So this is where it gets to be important to have um, <laughs> two trains. All right, so we're just gonna have you load. Okay, so now you're gonna make your way out. So now there shouldn't be any other trains here, I don't think. I feel like all the trains are out of here at this point. Um, we've, we've completed, we've created a log jam. Uh, let's see. All right. And you're also there. All the trains were at that one station. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea. What other train is here? Um, man, all the trains are here. Let's take a look. You are also here. Uh, yeah. All right. So now all the trains are out. Now that coal train can get in. Now the coal train should be able to then go into, yeah. So we're just going to have some trains that are operating somewhat inefficiently, I guess. But 
that's, I guess, what we're going to have to do because we only have the one ironworks. But now we do have the coal there so that will start making the iron. So, yeah, that, that's that's pipe dream. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we see where it gets to be important, having more than one platform. Uh, situations like that, where we now have created a giant mess over here in this area because uh, th this everyone wants iron here and not everyone's going to get it. So, oh yeah, and this one is just, it, this one's just running back and forth because there's not enough coal that's being delivered. So once we have more coal that's delivered, then it can drop off its copper. I think I said iron before, but I meant copper. So yeah, that's, that's a bit of a thing. It, it, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a learning exercise. So meanwhile, down here, this is starting to get some glass and that is working. And then over here, this is working on doing its thing. And do we actually, okay, so none of these bricks need to be going here anymore. So we've finished this off. So now we can ideally build another platform over here. And then we can have these, um, I don't know why I built it there, but that's okay, too late now. We can build some track that goes from here to here. And we'll click that to finish. So now this train that's over here in Motala that is dropping off those, um, that's dropping off those bricks. That is going to now basically, is it fully unloaded? Oh, it, it can't even unload anymore because it's, um, let's see, can it go to hearts? No, it can't. So we're going to have it actually now. It's going to go add orders. It's going to go from here up to heart central. And now it can confirm and it can load because it's the only one that's going. So I think that it can just load and then unload and I don't have to do any waiting for it. So yeah, so it'll go back, refill here, and then it'll start running from here to heart, which will complete the other, it'll complete heart's city request. And then what else can we do at this point? So this is all kind of up and running. All of the objectives here have been completed. And the only other thing that we really need to do, so here's a train that's actually taking some of the iron ingots down here to Leal Fado. So they're finally starting to get some of their iron ingots. So then the only other thing that we really need to do is we need to build a, uh, a brass pipe factory. So this seems like it's the best place to do it, but this is where we need the copper ingots. So that's really not going to be the best, but the only, oh, we can build it here. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna build a brass pipe factory here. And so the brass pipe factory is gonna be here. And it is going to, going, so let's see, we're gonna set up a second platform now out here. And we're gonna set up a platform here. And so now this train is going to run on, it's going to run down here to the brass pipe factory. So this new platform, we're going to set up this track and it's going to go into, can it go into there? Yes, it can. So we're gonna build it into there and then we're gonna build it out of there and into there. So it's going to wait here for the copper ingots and then it's going to, and it's also, okay, so it's gonna, I'm gonna have this run a full route. So it's going to do a full route because we are going to need and I'm gonna to need to find a train to do this because I'm out of trains. So let's see if I can make this happen. So I'm gonna set up another platform here. I'm gonna build some track that's gonna go basically parallel to this track. And now I need to see if I can actually even find a train that can do this. What trains do we have that are not doing anything? So let's take a look. Um, I guess I don't need this train anymore. 
this train for Birkenhead. I don't really need that. So we're going to take that train out because we don't really need... It'd be nice to have the passengers, but again, I only have 10 trains. So we're, we're going to get rid of that train. And it's now going to be our train that is going to basically make our brass pipes and take our brass pipes here into Leo Fado. So then I need to build more track out of here. And it's going to connect to this track here. Okay, perfect. So now that train that is currently paused and has nothing going on, we're going to empty the cars. Sorry, guys. Don't, don't know where you are. We're actually going to get rid of Can we get rid of this train? Yeah, we can. So we can upgrade to this one for 15000 Okay, so that's going to upgrade. So now it's going to get orders. So it's going to start here in the coal factory. It's going to wait for a full load. And then it's going to go here into the copper ingot factory. It's going to wait for... Oh, no, it can't do that. I can't have it do both. Okay. No. All right, so that's not going to work. I forgot. You can't have it do both. So we're going to have it start here. And it's going to wait for a full load. Once it has it, it's going to take those here. And then it's going to, uh, I guess it'll wait for a full, no, it'll just, yeah, it'll wait for a full, oh yeah, we'll wait, have it wait for a full unload. And then I'm going to have to build a second, so I will build a second platform for the coal. <laughs> this is where it starts looking messy. All right, so I know what I want to do. I know what my idea is. Um, it's just kind of making it happen. Okay, so I I didn't measure twice and then and then cut once. I measured once and I'm cutting twice. All right, so we're gonna have this track that's gonna run here. Um, it's actually going to run into here. Okay, whoops, and then right there. So we're going to finish that up. Can we do it in four minutes? No, <laughs> we cannot. So that track is then going to run. So now I once again need another train that's not doing anything. So what are all these trains doing? Do I have any trains that I now can use that don't need? So whatever train is here, so whatever these trains are, this train no longer needs to Oh, that train does need to do it because that train is theoretically running down to Leo Fadel. So that one does need to keep doing that, but it's running with nothing, basically, which is unfortunate. This train that's running to Rochefort Central can stop doing that. So we're going to stop and we're going to take care of that because that train no longer needs to do that. So then that train is going to, we're going to empty that train out. So I, I hate getting rid of that ingot, but we're going to do it. So we're going to empty that train out. And now that train is going to go down here and it's going to go here to the coal. So we're going to do this, we're going to add orders. It's going to go down here, get the coal, take the coal down here to the inventor's workshop. And it's going to wait for a full load, wait for a full unload. And that will confirm. So now we should have a train that's running coal, or it's running the um, copper ingots here. And then we'll have another train that runs the bread, it'll run the coal here. And then the last thing I need is a train that's going to run the brass pipes to Leo Fado. And that should finish that off. So then once again, the question becomes, now what train do I have that is not doing anything at this point? So I feel like they're all doing something. So that one, that's running from Hart to Motala. So does that still need it? That still needs some in order to... So what is that one? It's getting the, the smelter. Oh, it's taking those to the inventor's workshop. That one is coal taking it to the inventor's workshop. That one is, is that a, that's a three. Can I upgrade that? Yes, let's upgrade that for sure. Okay, I just now noticed because it was a different color when I was looking at it. Okay, so now let's see. You are, you cannot load or unload. 
Um, so is someone waiting for a full load? Do we have a, an issue here as well? Let's take a look at the trains that are here. Have I created a log jam here? Let's see. Uh, or can it not unload because it doesn't have a way of doing it? So what is your thing? So you are going from the steelworks. Well, you should be able to, so I don't know why you cannot. Um, hmm. All right, so we will investigate that momentarily. Because uh, I, I don't see... Well, well that's you. So you are, you are loaded. So... Maybe that's not a thing, because um, you, yeah, that's the, you are that train. So drive here. So oh yeah, now you can. Okay, so you're good. All right, so that's what you're doing. You are taking those things to the inventor's workshop. You're going to the inventor's workshop. You are going to Birkenhead. I don't think we need you going to Birkenhead anymore. Is it? Oh, they need one more ingot. So they just need one more, and then they can stop doing what they're doing. So once they have one more ingot, then they can stop. Um, they are doing copper ingots. Those are going to heart, and they need a little bit more of that. Okay, so there, that one's just kind of running inefficiently <laughs> in rusty champagne fashion. Okay, so these ones now, oh, well, no, th these still need to run because we do still need to keep on getting iron ingots. That does now still need to happen. So now, now we will have the rest of our iron ingots uh, taken care of. We're going to get one star on this. We're already over the 105. So I'm just trying to get this where I have everything done and then I can fast forward and get everything completed. So Birkenhead has completed their, their item as well. So now this train in Birkenhead, we can have it stop. So let's close this out. Let's stop you. Okay, so now you are going to halt. So you are going to be repurposed. You are going to be the train that goes here. And you're going to pick up the brass pipes. And you're going to take the brass pipes and going to take them to Lille Fado. And then I think we will have everything that we need at that point. And we were just, we're just going to let you load and unload. Because if we don't, then there could be some kind of an issue there. So we're just going to let you load and unload. And I think now we're good. So I think now everything that we need is all going to run to Lille Fado. All of the other trains are now just feeding these works. And I don't think we have anything else happening. So you have an issue. So what is your issue? Uh, we oh you, Can you not find a way there? Can you drive there or is it, uh, what is your issue? Let's see, where are you? Which one are you? Uh, you are there, so you can you not get there? I would think that you could. Let's see, um, what is keeping you from getting there? Let's see. I guess there's, oh, there's not a route. Okay, so we got to build an extra little bit of train. I was trying to figure out what was causing the issue. So we got to build a little bit extra track there. Now you can get there. Because you were just trying to figure out how to, it, it didn't have a connection there. So that was what we had. All right, so now I think if we put this into full-blown speed, I think this should finish everything up. So we're just going to kind of let this run. We're going to see if everything's actually happening right. I think it is. So now the um, the iron ingots are all going to Leo Fado. That train is running and it's going to pick up the brass pipes and it's going to take the brass pipes down here to Leo Fado. If I've been saying this wrong the entire time, I'm, I'm really sorry, <laughs> but I, I think I've been saying it right. But again, I, I don't know if I have. Okay, so the glass is going on. The brass pipes are going on and the iron ingots are all going on. So we will have been close. It won't have gotten there entirely, but we'll, we will be close. So this will just take a little bit to run itself out, and then we will see exactly what it does. So we'll just kind of let this play itself for a second. And I could have been using the, um, <laughs> now we got a ton of money. I could have been using some of the uh, some of the specialists 
had I really been trying to get this completely um, optimized, I could have used some of the specialists. I just didn't. So, <laughs> I mean, it probably would have been a good idea at some point. And if you're going for full-blown optimization, it would be the way to do it. But we uh, we didn't get full-blown optimization on this, so we're we're gonna we're gonna get the mission done. It's not gonna be pretty, and it's not gonna be the most effective. But we're gonna get it done. So <laughs> we could we can say that we did that. So we're gonna need three more rounds of ingots. The glass is all here. We're gonna need three more rounds of pipes. Oh, and as, as we finish that off, it starts building more and more here. So that's kind of nice. So we'll get to see what this is all about once it's completely finished. So we need, at this point, two more rounds of brass pipes. And yeah, it's just the ingots that take the longest to get here. That's the biggest thing. So we might have it done in a minute 30. <laughs> Does that count for a, a, a lower level metal? No, probably not. So I, 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 I figured I'd lobby for it, but it's not going to work. So I understand. Um, we didn't do things the most efficiently. That's fine. All right. One more round of brass pipes. Or no, we're going to need more than one because right now we're not making them quickly enough, it seems. So... Yeah, so it might be a little bit more than that because it looks like it's taking us longer to get the... Uh... Oh, there's the coal. So yeah, it'll have one more round, it looks like. So we should be fine. Yeah, because there's five on there and then we'll have at least one more on the next set of trains. And it looks like we have the last... Oh, we've got, we'll need two more iron ingots. And then that will take care of that. So I guess maybe if I had had everything going straight to Lille Fado, that might have helped us out. But I don't even know if that would have. But we would have gotten close, I think. So yeah, two more ingots and one more brass pipe. And then we will be finished with this scenario. And there are five brass pipes, of which we only need the one. And then we have the other train up there that is currently going to get our iron ingots. And again, had we had more trains, we might have been able to have some of those run because I could have probably repurposed another train from around here now like there's this one that's running to heart that's not doing anything so I could have repurposed it um, to get some more iron ingots going but uh, it, that was again not full blown optimization so yeah okay so we got something else that's built here so this looks a little more interesting I don't know exactly what it's going to be and now we have okay so what is that oh there's our submarine awesome so, yes, we failed. <laughs> we did not finish in an hour five. We finished in an hour 23, and we only delivered 85 out of our 110 iron ingots. But we did finish three of two city requests. So we do have that going for us. So that was a lot of fun. I really kind of enjoyed that. So those are the two things that are available right now in the demo of Train Valley World. And like I said, at this point, the, the game, it currently shows that it has a release date of 2024. I don't know anything more than that about it. But if you are a fan of train games, and if you're a fan of games where you're kind of racing against the clock, trying to finish objectives in a set amount of time, and trying to get three stars on each of your missions, then I would say that this game is right up your alley. And it'll be one to definitely keep an eye out for when it does become available. But that is going to be it for now. As always, I thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. Thank you, as always, for all of your support. It has been awesome. And thank you, for all, as always, for being part of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne. We will see you later.